What's up, guys? It's Greg White from BeyondComics.tv coming at you live and direct from the Society of Illustrators Batman exhibit, the 80th anniversary show, and all the original artwork. Come on this tour with me and take a look. Wait till you'll see it. I'm going to show you guys right now. And make sure to follow and subscribe. It's like four floors, I think. Look at that original art by Bob Kane, the co-creator of Batman with Bill Finger. But that is the Bob Kane art right there. You can see the sketchbook here. I believe that is the great Alex Ross. Wow. It's really something to see in Alex Ross original again. The first time was at the Warner Brothers store back in the day. And this, by the way, is a terrific piece over here by Kelly Jones, great comic book artist. Just zoom in here and look at that detail. One of the first Batman versus Superman strips. And one of my favorite artists, Simon Beasley. I mean, look at this, guys. There we go. Boy, is he a great artist. Hard to get it without the glare, but wow, is that something. Beautiful work over here. Of course, uh, Fred Roy and Jerry Robinson. This is actual Bob Kane work right here. I'm gonna have to go fast, guys, because they're closing soon. And we got four floors to do somehow. But definitely come down to the Society of Illustrators in New York City as soon as you can and check this out. I'm just trying to pause it so you get a closer look on the video here on YouTube.
And that's uh, Joe Gilio. Gilio. Bob Brown did the pencils here. Frank, Frank Robbins. Woo, there's a lot of stuff to cover. dope is this look at that work right there and of course the great Todd McFarlane Batman right there the great Alex Ross Overseas stuff here. Barris Batmobile. Wow. Oh, Neil Adams. This is a similar pose used by Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, originated that kind of uh, stance. <laughs> This was done more recently, I believe. But it says 1970. Hmm. Wow. I guess not more recently. This is Neil Adams' work. Jim Lee, I'm freaking out right now. Wow. Let's take a moment on this. Wow.
thing. We Here we go, guys. Look at the great Sam Keith. Oh, recognize his style anywhere. That's great spatter with the toothbrush there. Look at the hair, using white out over it, white ink. Ugh, he's so good. He also did the Max. I highly recommend you guys read it and watch it on MTV as well. Wonderful show. And Aeon Flux, he did not do that. That was Peter Chung, but watch Aeon Flux too. That's Quesada right there, Joe Quesada. And my old teacher, Denny O'Neill. That's right, from back in my SVA days. Great editor and writer of Batman. Great work over here. Kelly Jones, of course. Cool. You see, like how they kind of tape the stuff over it before computers and before Photoshop. <laughs> wow, Jim Aparo, of course. Take this in order. I break you, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> My old buddy Sean Martin Burrow went to SVA with. He's one heck of a great artist as well. I wonder if he knows this is here. I should tell him. Way to go, Sean. Awesome. Yeah, check out his stuff, guys. He has a great video, too. A little biopic on him on YouTube if you check it out. Really nice stuff here. I'm still stuck on this Jim Lee, though. Wow. Look at that. I just love this. This is just what Jim Lee's about right here, man. 
massive, awesome mass and bulk texture and uh, feathering and rendering and everything dope. Amazing Alex Ross poster here. Like you know, oh, wow. I mean, that's a shot right there. Woo! Ryan Boland he knows what he's doing. Oh, they got the Todd McFarlane. Oh. Get this stuff here. Now they say the pencils here was Alan Davis and Ings Paulini and Neary. Um, boy, is that. Uh, I could swear that that was McFarland, but I guess not. I guess it's not. There's the names right there. Hmm. I know McFarland kind of either started or took over that look right around that time. Now I'm on the search to see if they got McFarlane pages on Batman here. That's right, now I'm like remembering all this stuff. I had a brain fart for a second. Now this, of course, is more Jim Apparel. He's doing Batman very differently than he is here. 83 versus 82. Big jump in that uh, style. Oh, the great Dick Giordano. Dick Giordano, great. Giordano, wow, he's so good. He inked a lot of um, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez stuff. You can call him through this here. This is all Jim Apparel right now. This is the masterful John Byrne. Oh, Frank Miller guys right here. For any of you who want to turn your head sideways, there we go. Jim Aparo, the comics we grew up with. Rogers here, Marshall Rogers, very famous work here. Wow, look at that. Mike Kaluta. Oh, he's great. I know Mike. He lives near me. He's a great artist. He did the shadow also.
That's Jose Luis Garcia Lopez. Oh, look at that, Jim Lee. Fantastic. This one. Guys, make sure to come down to Society of Illustrators. You guys have to check this out. The exhibit goes on until October 12th, okay guys? So please come down and support it. It's totally worth it. Where do you see the rest here? Brian Boland, guys. Again, my favorite, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez art right here. Wow. That is a sight to behold right there. chart here. This would be number two on the chart. Okay. Jim Lee would be 11 right there. Boom. Look at Jim Lee. Jesus, Jim. God damn it, Jim. You're so good. <laughs> oh my God. He's so freaking good. Look at that. That's just dope. That's all white out, guys. Are you seeing this? Jim Lee, God damn it, Jim Lee, you're so good. <laughs> Every time I meet Jim, you know, he's a really cool dude. He just is very chill. But I just flip out over his stuff. I geek out. He inspires me. Put this in here.
to get the glare out very hard. God damn it, Jim Lee. So good, Jim Lee. <laughs> so good. <laughs> oh my god, he's so good. I really like this one too. That's 19, is it? No, 18. Which is Ed McGinnis, of course. That's why I like it so much. Ed is great. Wow. You gotta find these, they're like hiding around here. Look at that one. Batman anime. Manga at Batman.
Five minute break, everyone. Alex Ross art. Guys, this is part two of the Batman exhibit here at the Society of Illustrators. This is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg White from BeyondComics.tv. Make sure to check out part one, follow and subscribe, and as they say in comics, to be continued.
Guys, this has been Greg White from BeyondComics.tv coming at you live and direct again. I hope you enjoyed this incredible non-stop level after level after level of exhibit. Four levels of exhibit right here of Batman's 80th anniversary. Happy birthday, Batman. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow and subscribe and tell your friends. We're also running a contest where you could have a chance to actually be drawn in my next comic book. Go to beyondcomics.tv for details. Uh, I guess it's not actually a contest, but you can actually get picked. So you'll see it up there when you go on there. So check it out. Again, make sure to go to beyondcomics.tv. Make sure to follow and subscribe, and as they say in comics, to be continued. Again, this is comic book artist, writer, and director Greg Wyke from beyondcomics.tv saying, see you next time at the same bat channel. Same that day. <laughs> the old 60s show used to say something like that. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Thanks.